Hello, hello, my collective. Hello. If you're all new to my channel, welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. I hope I can give someone a little bit of clarity today or just a little smile to brighten your day. And if I brighten your day a little bit, then you can, get, you can hit like and you can hit subscribe if you're new. I, I appreciate you to my loyal support. I love y'all. I appreciate you very, very much. To new people that come and subscribe to me every day, I love you and I thank you very much. And I hope I can just give you another message again today. And people who's coming here for the first time, maybe I'll give you something. Because this and uh, this seems like a pretty interesting message. And you'll see why here in a minute. Alright, so I'm going to get into it. And I love you guys. And let's go. Um, it said, uh, this person is still asleep. They're not awake to this situation like you are. It's, uh, it's, it's, there's a group of people that is in a cult, and they do all their magic around the moon cycles, but you know this. They're saying sorry, not sorry. They're saying sorry, not sorry. They thought this, uh, this, this, this cult, they thought that you was never going to wake up to figuring out what they fucking done. Um, and they was trying to, uh, Somebody was trying to triangulate you with another person. This is where two people disagree and a third person gets pulled into the disagreement. This forms a triangle within the argument. They was trying to make spells to where you and your partner would argue or send somebody around so they would get into you and your partner's business. Do you understand? You know, or your twin, whoever it was, you all. But uh, uh, I guess you was aware of this because you used your intuition and you go with your intuition your bubbling bubbling guts so um they was they was trying to triangulate you it, with you and your twin and when you meet a twin you'll lock eyes and it will feel very intense and it's like you've known each other before and can sense that you are connected oh god somebody twin loves you they see you out in the sunlight oh wow well, so so you was aware that this person was trying to keep you away from your twin just to have just to keep you all in arguments if you're not with your twin that's what it was and when magic works through you you feel freer and not blue when magic is alive inside of you you feel like divine gives you clues so you can help others to find their magic inside and bring it out to their brothers and sisters to spread it far and wide. That's a poem by me, Pam Star Oracle. Nobody has permission. Do y'all love my little poems I write for you all? Oh, gosh. And you love your little twins, how I tell about it. <laughs> Look how cute. They're cute. Oh, they love you. Oh, you feel like magic is just all through you, and you just love it. And you know that you had a fallout with this person because you, you had to figure out why and what you've learned from meeting that person, okay? So, so whoever he had this falling out with, you got to figure out why you met that person, and maybe it's because this person doesn't have a damn clue about who or what the hell they wanted in life. I mean, this could be your twin. Like, they are not really sure who or what they want in life. I don't know. I'm, or it could just be that Maybe you're in a bad relationship and that person is embarrassed or something and they don't want you to go towards your twin. But it's saying if if you've lived with a person for many, many years, you get to learn their patterns and their fears and in the bedroom you'll orgasm a plenty and through all the fighting and conflict, you've learned many lessons because you figured out to count your blessings. That's by me. Uh... And it says somebody is doing background checks on you or on your person because they are just nosy as hell and are too invested into your business way too much. <clears throat> so you sniffed out that maybe if you kept on talking to that person, it, that, that they went and told everything. So they was just... Um, won't always be in fighting and conflict. And because... They was trying to come against you, and it might be dirty law and a dirty judge trying to come against you. <coughs> or they just went and told all your business to, and like paid off cops. 
Yeah, that's what it was. And this man is just embarrassed of you because he's scared about all his stupid shit that he done to you over the years. Stay focused. That's what it's saying under... The, the, um, they're embarrassed because they know that you're rising up to become a leader in your community to show others a way to success. This person is uh, embarrassed of you and all the things they've done to you. And you had to... Uh, you got to learn... This person needs to learn how to control the way they talk to people and say, I appreciate everything you do, but they don't know how to do that because they went and lied on the Bible on you. They went and lied to these cops. Look here, Law. Look, this person you had a fallout with went and told all your business to these Law and paid them, lied on the Bible. This person you had a fallout with, and now they're saying sorry. They're not sorry for fucking lying to the law. See, it's like they already get in trouble for that. I mean, that's just what I'm thinking. It would seem like you, they'd have to get in trouble for that, but they made a deal with the devil himself to take you plumb out of the race. Hey, you, you better watch out. They paid somebody to take you out. And um, you prove these people wrong, and they're seeing just how ignorant they look, too. They're like, oh, we're ignorant. You see that? Better watch out. Yeah. Uh, you proved this person wrong and they look ignorant. And it might have been your business partner. Your partner or your business partner was stealing money from you. So, uh, uh, and they might be a R word in the community. See what it says? Okay. It might be. You now, I don't know you guys. They're trying to come after you, Mother, because you're an inspiration to many for all your good works. They're trying to come after you, Mother. You better watch out. But the um, you could even fight the law, and you'd still win because they know you're special and very protected, Mother. See, so the law knows that you, the, the law protects you. They're protecting you from this rapist in the community. Um... Some somebody really is uh got to got the lust on you and and the law is protecting you. Even this person that went and told the law stuff, whoever the fuck they are, this nosy son of a bitch. The law don't believe them. The law knows that they're uh, ignorant and they're embarrassed because it's all coming out what they done to you. <laughs> so you're protected. So don't worry about it. And and the law knows you're a free bird. And uh people are afraid of us ones who know ourselves. We got our own aura that are all drawn to magnetically. We rebel to the status quo so that others will be responsible and stand in their truths as we do. We're free birds, see? See, they know that you're a free bird and that you're very protected and the angels have your back and you will be put on a pedestal for all your good deeds and showing others that spirit will show and tell you all the people who are against you, see? See, free bird, you stand in your truth and you, sh you show and you tell and show others the way to go and to rebel against these people that didn't give a fuck for you because the angels got your back. And these people, you might have worked with them, and they're talking and telling your business to anyone who'd listen. Whisper, whisper. And one of these people that like to run and tell your business and make lies out of your business, um, they got a warrant out for their arrest for trying to have you murdered, attacked, or R-A-P-E-D. Look. So do you believe yet that there is a R word in the community? You murdered, attacked, or R-A-P-E-D. See? Just because you're a chosen one. So, I mean, double confirmation that, yeah, that's true. That's true for somebody out here. And um, and uh, if, if you got a clear conscience and a clean heart, sometimes people will say that you're a liar and, and they won't trust you for their issues that's inside their own self. But you've already cleaned out your heart and and showed it to them. And they think that you're a liar. Well, fuck that, fuck that person 922. Don't, don't worry about that person. They're, they're just mad because you're clean and good with yourself and they're not. <coughs> and when you locked eyes with this twin, it caused all this because... And, and it, your woman's intuition made you aware, okay, that uh, you're all supposed to do a, build a business together and rise up in a community and prove all these people wrong. And uh, you're teaching people to learn how to talk the correct way. 
and you got to know who and what you want. You can't just be goofy and not know. And these cops or or these men that went and lied to the cops, that was fraud. And I'm saying, sorry, not sorry. You will go to jail, you group that's doing magic under the moon cycles. There ain't no use sniffing around over here on me. Now the law's going to be sniffing in on them, this person that you had a fallout with. They're going to come sniff everything they do, and they, they're not awake to the situation like you are. You, you're you awake, and you know who the, par the third party was that was doing all this shit. Because you got magic, it runs through you. You're a magical person. You feel alive, and and you know uh, people that you've lived with for many years. You learn their patterns, and you know what this man is in fear of all the shit they've done to you. And them lying to the law and lying on the Bible and stealing money from you and stealing it from this good, loving, loyal mother and lying and acting like they didn't steal big quantities of money from you or all your jobs. It's all right. They're going to go to jail because they're lying fucks and they make deals with devils. That means they go and buy meth or buy whores or 1119, buy, buy shit and leave you out in the dark and, and, and the devil is coming to take their soul to hell. Don't worry. Bye-bye, rapist. You're going to be raped in jail and ice. And um, the law thinks that you're funny as fuck and you're very protected, mother. You don't have nothing to worry about. Free bird mother, always whispering bunch of women. They wish they was protected as you and had an angel son that watched over them like, like me and you guys and you're all little angels that watches you all. And and they when they try to kill you, it's all right because... When they try to come at you and try to have you murdered and killed, um, that means you got to go to jail. I have a clear conscience because I spoke of it all. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? That's the truth. What I said. That was a truth. Oh, whoa. And somebody out here, you're teaching and sharing what you learn. You're instilling and instructing in others and educating others the correct way to be in life. Ooh, looky there. Maybe you practice Buddha. Um, child divine. Oh wow, you're you're just a magical being. You're a child. You're from the divine. You're divine's child. You know, this is about innocence, purity, and redemptions. You get redeemed from these idiots. They didn't understand. They thought you'd take it, take it, take it. But you was supposed to sit down and tell how these people do you. If y'all didn't do it, you better be doing it because that's what that's what you're supposed to do. And you got a really special connection to the divine. And you can teach others of this connection because, you know, you're balanced. Libra balanced. You're, you're balanced in your masculine and feminine. That's why you can speak on this. You're balanced in your work. You're balanced in your love life. You're balanced. And uh, it says, arise from the ashes of despair. See, you're balanced and you're teaching others to not be in despair. And woe is me, pitiful. Woe, woe, pitiful me. Poor, poor, pitiful me. Don't be poor, poor. 1322, don't be poor, poor, pitiful me. You got to get up off your ass and rise up and show people that you're a child of mine. And that's why Manaz might have come out, see the moon and the sun. And that man's got two or three heads, it looks like. I think he got three. And what it says is, it says this is about yourself and friendships and partnerships the intellect this is a divine union and manifestation i love you spirit when you see when you see that m it equals m too if you want to write a secret message that's what it means um and, and modesty is best policy be discreet about about your about about your inner self with all but your closest friends Listen to your mind and your heart in equal balance and make an intelligent judgment against your own impulses. So it's telling you, be discreet about your inner self with all but your closest friends. It's saying, because when you tell your closest friends, they tell everything. Did you listen? Yeah, that's what they do. So I'm teaching you all, do not tell your secrets to anybody except you and your love and from divine the only tell to that person are you listening but you're you do have a divine union and a tarot guidance maybe you're receiving some tarot guidance from me or from others at the moment maybe you read tarot but all i know is um 
Spirit said, um, they appreciate you and for what you do. And I never noticed, but it says Rider Weight 1971. I never see that. But, uh, yeah, you're receiving tarot guidance. And you're exercising people's demons. Uh, you're freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. Yeah, just just because you feel on a whim like you want to do something, don't do that. Because it's liable to cause a chain reaction of events in your life on that little impulse that you get to go towards that person. Are right, you listen? If your guts is bubbling, bubbling, that woman's intuition, listen to it because it's trying to steer you away. So something won't happen, okay? But it could be that somebody that is coming to tarot, they've got a fear of facing their own demons. And it could be a Virgo that's saying that. Uh, but it could just be saying, you know, like if you're a child of divine like me and uh, um, you do a tarot practice, you practice patience and you're focused in your interpretations. It could be saying you're exercising all these people's demons, you know, getting that narcissist out of them. So this Virgo is digesting everything, all this tarot guidance. They're paying attention to you now. And this and this Virgo knows that a deep secret is getting ready to come to light. Oh, 16, 1677, it's coming to light. Oh, it's coming to light. Something is. And it's something that uh, might hurt you. And you're going to have to be prepared for this secret when it comes to light. But I guess you've been getting ready for it for a long time. And... Uh, if you look at this, Lago, uh, Lagoos come out. What's that look like, Titty? So I wonder, wonder what the secret is. I wonder what the secret is. Somebody's got titties on the side. <laughs> Somebody's got a titty around, and you don't know if you know a Virgo. They might be hiding it. They fucked around somebody. I don't know. Um, but this is saying L. This equals L. Lagoos, water, fertility, living, renewal. It could be... Um, Hang on a minute. It says, go with the flow. Wash away old thoughts and ways. Leave fresh and ready to take an, imp an importantly look inside yourself and let what lies but lies within flow outward for the benefit of all. So maybe it's just saying that this Virgo is watching you go with the flow and wash away all these old thoughts. And that's why you had to talk about these secrets all right so now they know that they're going to have to tell their deepest darkest secrets to go with the flow and be in line with you if you got a verbal partner are you listening that's what they got to do told you oh and patience practice patience geomancy you know when you when you start doing a practice like this you got to have a lot of patience and if you don't have patience then you might as well not even get started but but maybe you've um been teaching others that you you helped figure out that these pyramids and the way they is lined up to these stars you was the one you might have been somebody who helped the with all this ancient egyptian knowledge and you're brought here at this time because you're somebody who's very balanced you're from the divine they they made they made you sit down and do a practice because you know how to t to talk in a cool and calm collected way to others, um, even if you're talking about bad things that happen, you 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 do this patiently, and you show others that by being patient. Well, your dreams will come to life. You know that, don't you? Visionary, oh, you visionary! You got the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. A willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. You don't care if you you gain anything. You're you're telling people your visions. Like I just told you a vision of mine. I think that I actually helped make the uh, the writings that's in them tombs. I think that I actually helped do these writings. That's why I like doing these, uh, showing these ruins and uh, these secret letters. That's why I like doing that. Oh, and Aries act. This Aries is wanting to take action to... Um, to... Uh, talk to you about your vision if you know aries they are wanting to love with an open heart with you looky there they got a they're opening their heart for you and it's only for you they want to love you baby and they love your beautiful eyes and they love your long flowing hair and and um they want to take action to love you with an open heart oh wow look look gibo see that cup of love it looks like they're bringing their giant cup of love i love you spirit 
Look what's in her hand. Like, here's my cup to you, baby. And he's saying, here's my cup to you. I love spirit. How spirit throws these messes out to you all. Ooh, Ooh God. Ooh, a gift or exchange. Ooh, it tells you a partnership. This is a... Uh, this is Gibo or Giba or Gipped. This is a gift, divine interaction. You, you got a lot of gifts inside, and and, and you you love with a, a free and open heart, visionary. You practice patience. You put it in divine's hands, and this partnerships build our strengths. We must, of course, be careful not to allow our individuality to be suffocated. Mutual gain is achieved through balanced relationships. So, it's saying that you and this person are very balanced. Oh, my gosh. You're very balanced in your in your relationship, and, and they love you. And, and they don't want your individuality to be suffocated. They love that you show it to the world now. M-L-G. They said you better stay focused now. Stay focused. Keep focused. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep, keep steady going. And this could be a Sagittarius since, you know, it's arrows. It could be that you uh, destroyed a Sagittarius that you worked with. Remember? <laughs> That's funny for me. And uh, this is uh, releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. Ooh. This is divine interaction. You better stay focused because the vine is leading you on this to do this new life. And this cancer needs to immerse their self into this. Uh, they're immersing. Um, they, this cancer was trying to destroy other your dreams and potential. And you stayed focused the whole time and they love you. And um, you're breaking free. You break free from this cancer, and you regained your 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 youth. And you flew. You regained your youth and fly. That's what it's saying. Oh, look at your beautiful purple hair. I love it. I wish I had that purple hair, and I'm getting ready to dye my hair. And you're all gonna love it because it looks blue. It's gonna be like blue, black, electrical, beautiful. And you're all gonna say, "Oh my wow." Pam, your hair looks so much better and you don't look like an old granny anymore. Oh, that's what y'all want to say now. Oh. <laughs> oh, and so you need to break free from this cancer and stay focused. You're destroying them. Ah, you're destroying them. Oh, and we got Soelio right here. Ooh, well, it might be another reader you're listening to and she's destroying them. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. Oh, Soelio, listen. This is about wholeness and victory. This is Sigil, Sawilio, so we, uh, so the sun. This is about Thunderbolt, a wheel of power. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts, and your journey must end with this completion. Know who and what you are and share this with everyone around. Express your wholeness, and the great prize will be yours. Well, because you express yourself, you you tell of things that's happened in your life, and, and this and this uh person doesn't know how, okay? And you completed this cycle with this cancer, <laughs> and you feel wholeness and complete and victory, huh? <laughs> Ooh, and, and karma's coming back to that person, the wheel, <laughs> And palmistry, you're interpreting. You know how to read palms. Oh yeah, I got a book on it. I know how. Did you guys, I know how. Did you guys, and um, so uh. Every child eternal, you know, you got a determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit, and the ability to see things with fresh eyes. You you got the ability to see things with fresh eyes, and you got a great way of interpreting. And spirit said they love you, and they you just keep doing it the way you do it now. You better keep doing it like that, Aquarius, because we love the way you do it. You know how to collaborate. You damn well better be listening to me and keep doing it the way you're doing, gosh, because you share your wisdom with others and you shine your light. How true is that? How, how true is that? I do. I shine out all the things that's happened in my life with you all so you can see that you can grow from any damn thing. Any damn thing that's happened in your life, you can grow from it. Don't think that you can't. Maybe you got beautiful eyes that's green like that. Oh, wow. And they love your beautiful eyes. And they love it. You just let it flow onto everybody now. God, could you look like this person right here? And you could just walk on that water, it looks like. You can walk. You can just walk on a tight rope. That's what you do. You could even walk on water, it looks like. And now what that means is when you see that, that's called petaroth. This means the hearth. 
This is Divination Look, Primal Law, Chance Initiation, Hidden Secrets. God moves in mysterious ways, and Pearl Roth sits firmly alongside heaven, indicating other forces at play. They may be hard to see and even more difficult to influence. Expect the unexpected. I love it that come out. So, I mean, uh, you know that God moves in mysterious ways, and, and you, you're somebody that sits firmly alongside of heaven. Did you hear that? You, 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 you don't care to tell your hidden secrets, and that's why God loves you, because these people that hide their secrets and things that they did, they won't get to see the glory of God or this face if, if y'all believe in God. So you might as well not be against me, because, I mean, I have told my secrets. So that means I'm closer to God. Did you all understand what that means? Hmm. I know God's in me. I'm not scared of it. Ooh, and the, the, there you go. I know that God's inside of all of us, and uh, we got to remember how strong of people that we are. You know. So it's saying this friendship that's supposed to be a partnership is a divine union. You need to go with the flow. You all went through a renewal, and you know that you're getting ready to have a gift or exchange in this partnership. Oh, because this is divine interaction. You're all going to feel wholeness and victory. And a wheel of power, thunderbolt wheel of power is helping you. Take a chance on this initiation. Tell those hidden secrets. This is divination. Look, primal law. I love you for that spirit. Do you all love the ruins cards when I read them? Call see, it helped us tell us something today. It didn't spell nothing. When it does spell something, I'll let us know, okay? Because I already looked. It didn't have no vowels to spell nothing with it. So that's why I'm telling you guys, okay, you guys? Let me move these out the way. Mama, move these out the way. Hey, 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 hey. I love you guys very, very, very much. And I thank you. I want to so, so thank you. Spirit said thank you, thank you. And we thank you. And I thank you. And we thank you too. Here's your little love message. Little love message. Love message. Oh, wow. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. So what you're usually attracted to is probably the devils. This is a good person. Y'all want to reconcile. This is somebody you've already met before. Someone from your past is returning. Um, they was a... One of you was more religious and one of you is more spiritual you're all going to reconcile and you're all going to get married oh gosh keep an open mind you're all going to get married next next one next one next love message next love message let go of control issues allow this situation to unflow naturally and trust that this situation is calm for you to have faith trust that it's going to happen now Trust that this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And they love you big, baby. They only got eyes for you now. This soulmate is your new love. Oh, gosh. And uh, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. They want you, baby. They want you big. This new love soulmate, trust, trust that you're going to let go of all these damn issues and keep an open mind with them so y'all can reconcile and have a wedding. And uh, you're all both spiritual. Ooh, gosh, they're coming to put an engagement ring on your hand. Now, that's what it said now, baby. That's what it said. And I hope it's helped y'all today. I love you. And I'm going to get off here. And I'm sorry I can't make them real long, y'all. It takes them forever to upload. That's why I like to keep them under 30 or right around 32 or 33 minutes. So, this is 29, 29, 11, 11, twin flame. I love you. Twin rays, I love you. My pieces. And I hope this helps somebody. Bye-bye.